I am Marie, helping you with Business English Conversations. Let's learn about 14 common English idioms we use in business conversations. So what's an idiom? An idiom is when a person says one thing, but means something different. Why should you learn common English idioms used in business conversations? Why is this important? The reason is people use idioms in interviews, informal speech, and conversations. Idioms share cultural meanings, imagination, figurative meanings, different from the literal meaning of words. Sometimes, an idiom is the best way of expressing what you want to say, so you improve your ability to communicate your meaning. Do I have to speak English using idioms? No, you don't have to speak English using idioms. You should understand what people mean when they speak with idioms, though. Okay, let's learn. Here's the first idiom, cutting corners. A manager could say this to his employee. John, your work is not good enough. You're always cutting corners. This means John does not do his best work. He's lazy. His work is not top quality. He works quickly to save time, but quality is not good. He needs to improve his work. You can imagine a pair of scissors. The next idiom is not rocket science. We know that the science about rockets is very difficult, but this is not rocket science. Susan's manager tells her, Susan, don't worry about starting on the new project. It's not rocket science. Susan needs to understand that the new project is not difficult to do or understand. If other people can do it, she can do it too. You can imagine the difficult science about rockets. Here's an idiom relating to soccer or football. Get the ball rolling. If you're in a meeting and the team leader says, team, let's get the ball rolling. The team leader means that it is time to begin the meeting. This phrase is a sports idiom since there's no real ball involved. I hope you're having fun learning about the background for these idioms. If you'd like more help, remember at the end of the video, like and subscribe. Here's another idiom on the back burner relating to moving a pot from the front of a stove to the back of the stove. If you asked this company's CEO, what about the plan for a new manufacturing plant? He could reply, as a result of budget cuts, it's now on the back burner. This means the plan was moved to the lowest priority. How about this idiom, get up to speed? It reminds you of a car getting up to speed before entering the highway. One team member calls a new team member and says, Hi, Carol. I'm so glad you joined your team. I'm calling because I need to help you get up to speed on our current project. When can we meet to discuss this? This means Carol needs the caller's help to understand the details about the new project since she is a new team member. Have you heard the idiom, back to the drawing board? This reminds you of a designer who uses a drawing board to develop drawings. Here's a conversation using this idiom. Did the chief technical officer approve the new robot design? No, unfortunately, it is back to the drawing board for us. The team needs to start over and develop a new design. The old design cannot be used. A new design is needed. What about this similar idiom, back to square one? Here's a conversation using this idiom. Did the chief technical officer approve the new robot design? No, unfortunately, it's back to square one for us. The team needs to start over and develop a new design. The old design cannot be used. A new design is needed.
The idiom for the long haul reminds you of the very long haul or journey of truck drivers who transport commercial goods on the very long roads. Imagine a conversation between co-workers. Our company is having difficulty finding success. Are you going to look for a new job? The other person replies, No, I'm here for the long haul. This means the person wants to stay with the company for a very long time. It doesn't matter what difficulties the company faces in the future. A change of pace refers to the speed at which you walk or run. Sometimes you can change it. Here's a conversation between co-workers at lunch. I hear you're going sailing on your vacation. Is that true? Yes, I really want a change of pace. Wow, that would be a real change of pace. This means doing something very different from what you normally do at work. This idiom, think outside the box, means your thinking and creativity are not limited to the parameters of the box. The box represents your group or organization. Imagine this conversation during an interview. We're looking for someone who is not afraid to think outside the box. At my last job, I had a reputation as an innovator. This means to think about ideas that are not normal. A creative person can think about unusual ideas. The idiom on the same page makes sure that everyone understands the same information. Here's a conversation between two software developers. Did you invite the business analyst to our testing meetings? Yes, I wanted to keep everyone on the same page and she's happy to attend. This means to make sure everyone understands the same information. The idiom raise the bar means that acceptable standards are gradually being raised and you'll have to work harder to meet the new standards. Here's a potential conversation between a company investor and a company executive. Your company always performs well. What is the reason? Here's the probable answer. We raise the bar for employee performance results every year. This means to constantly increase the standards for work. The idiom jumping the gun reminds you of a race when a participant starts before the gun is heard. Listen to this conversation between two business people. I understand your company is closing their research department. I think they're jumping the gun. They're overreacting to a rumor about the new technology. This means to act or make a decision based on false assumptions before the facts are reviewed and understood. The last idiom for this lesson is go out on a limb. If an animal goes out on a limb on a tree, the limb could break and the animal could hurt itself. In this conversation, an employee asks for new responsibility. She could succeed or she could fail. It's risky. I may be going out on a limb, but I would like to leave the new business unit. This means to act or make a decision that is risky and usually requires personal courage. That's it for today's lesson in business conversations in the work environment. If you have any questions about how to use these idioms, please leave a question in the comments below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. Also, leave a comment below about other video topics you'd like me to make, which would help you with your business English conversations. Click on notify to receive notifications of more videos like this.